people would always say like this is amazing this is amazing but like honestly and I would honestly respond like I was I was a vessel like it would could not have happened without you know my community and that includes the Notre Dame community and the storyteller community while I was there it was pretty much my first or second week being there and I um, uh, was teaching computer parts and I had like the little teacher's manual and so I was um, trying to tell them what a keyboard was. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I did my best but they have no concept of what you know that would even mean. Um, so I turned the book around and all of a sudden because it's a class of around 57 kids um, teeny tiny ones, but so they're quivering on top of each other, someone's screaming because someone's hair is getting pulled, and all they want to do is they want to see this small picture on my tiny teacher's manual, and then I just thought, you know, where would I be if I didn't know what a keyboard was, if I didn't know how to operate a computer, you know, the world is changing and technology is becoming more and more important, and I just thought these kids are going to be absolutely handicapped if they don't know how to type, if they don't know how to operate, you know, Microsoft Word. Let's try and make the biggest impact that we can make. Um, so we set up the GoFundMe and it was quite a whirlwind actually. Um, it went much better than we thought it would go, and we ended up raising around $7,500, which was just incredible, because that was far over what we thought we could accomplish. We need computers so that we can achieve the best of our goals. Ernest, the headmaster, who is like, we love Ernest. Um, <laughs> And so Ernest sends me all these videos of the kids and all these pictures of the kids. I couldn't actually um, put them on the GoFundMe just because they don't really let, videos are hard to upload. But um, so the kids were learning how to use the enter button. And um, it was funny because Joe, one of my, one of my students, they were teaching the, the older kids. So the teacher, he's like, okay, now press the enter button and like tell me what happens. All of a sudden, I hear this screech from the back. So this is on video, right? And, and Joe's like, it went to a new line. <laughs> and I was like, yes, that's my boy. <laughs> like, you know, but just like, like Ernest sent me, you know, a note. And he was like, I don't know how to express what my heart is feeling. And all I could think about is, I know exactly what that feels like, because I can't express in my heart what I feel to Rwanda and like what that gave me and even just the kids like volunteering you always get more than you give especially with kids <laughs>